I've been neglecting my herb bed. What? Well, the sage is flowering. But there are a lot of weeds. I do have a good excuse though, as we've been on vacation. This is not a weed. I can't remember the English name right now, but it's a Levisticum. If you're into the Latin, the thyme is also flowering. The long word is finished. And there's another, behind there is the other thyme. Well, that's my herb bed for July 23rd, 2012. And if you don't, if you're not the one to judge, or if you're ashamed of how many weeds you've got in your garden, take a look at this. Because of my shoulders, I haven't been able to weed at all this year. So this is four feet tall weeds. This strip will be removed uh, as soon as I am physically able. There are a few plants in here that we want to save. So we can't just take a tractor and, or a backhoe and remove them. More and more weeds. These poppies will be removed because they never, the buds are weird. So the flowers never come out. Oh, we have another one down there and we seem to get a lot of apples this year there are like uh, four or five flowers on every twig so I hope all of this will be apples Snort. Snort. There are more apples as you can see. The first year we got 60 kilos off of two trees, now we only have one. But we have started two more from uh, seeds that we got from apples bought in the supermarket. They, the seeds were in the windowsill for a couple of months before we put them in the in soil. But they've survived the winter and they're still growing. So there they are. I think it was Spanish apples. I don't know how many cherries we'll get this year. Somehow the birds and wasps beat us to them every year, or they're, they have little black spots on them. Well, that's that for this time. More uh, videos to come. I hope I'll be able to record a couple very soon, but I can't promise you anything. Just la one last look of our beautiful little valley and the ironic fact that I live straight across from that the church straight across from the church bye bye